pandemic or not, spring break is here. Florida's beaches and bars are already seeing the first throngs of college students on break, crowding beaches and bars, and worrying public health experts around the country who see the weeks of partying as a potential for another spike in COVID-19 cases. The primary concern, experts say, is that partying is occurring at a crucial moment in the fight against the coronavirus, more and more vaccines are being administered each day, yet more and more cases of variants, which are highly transmissible, are being reported. Making matters worse, they say, is that students will be enjoying their break as more states continue to relax restrictions they had in place, such as mask mandates. I knew the spring breakers would show up, said Lauren Tedeschi, 53, who was visiting Fort Lauderdale with her niece. Just look at the beach. They're out in full force. And this is the start of spring break. It's only going to get more crazy. Some universities across the country cancelled spring break to discourage college coeds from spreading the coronavirus. One school, the University of California, Davis, is offering students $75 to be used for staycations to encourage them to avoid non-essential travel during spring break. But that hasn't stopped traveling for the popular college pastime, which typically lasts until April. I was here two years ago and came back to see what it's like now with COVID," said 21-year-old Jack Gummiani, who flew down to Florida to enjoy the famous Fort Lauderdale Strip from frigid Michigan. Florida hasn't skipped a beat. Gummiani, a junior at Davenport University, shrugged at the lack of social distancing. We're not in the at-risk group, he said. Some airlines have offered reduced airfare and hotels have offered deals. And already airports are seeing the payoffs. Parker McClellan, executive director of Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport ECP, said the facility, which is a transportation hub near the popular Panama City Beach, has more flights scheduled this month than it did in July 2019 a month he described as being the peak of peak season. I think once people realized what Panama City Beach was during the pandemic last year, they realized it's a place they want to come back to, Mayor Mark Sheldon said. We saw big travel last summer, even during the crazy times of the pandemic, and I think we're going to see even bigger numbers this year as people realize that we are a gem of the panhandle. Many states and businesses count on the flood of visitors each year, especially after last year shuttered economies and many businesses across the country. Tourism is the sunshine states know. One industry, generating over $91 billion in 2018. But in Miami Beach, Mayor Dan Gelber was taking a different approach, determined to avoid a new burst of virus cases in his city. Gelber issued a stern warning for spring break revelers, don't be foolish.